Hello YouTubers, this is The Good Nurse and I'm coming to you with a project share video. Um, the projects are two photo frames and a miniature photo album. Uh, the photo albums, one of them is for a friend of mine that's graduating in May and she asked me to do her mortarboard. So um, initially I was kind of nervous about it because I haven't done one of those before but then I was kind of interested in doing it as well. So um, I looked at the colors of her cap and gown and I painted the photo frame that color and then I did, I did it, it was playing around with some color combinations to see how I wanted to decorate it. Um, before I do that, let me share this with you. I'm sure that everybody's familiar with this glue here. This quick dry glue that dries very quickly and very clear. Very strong bond. As you can see, I have the paper clip in there. And I've left that in there. I've had it in there for a while now. It's been a week and some change. And the glue hasn't dried out. And so I decided to leave it in there because I usually have to take a, a paper clip or a pen or something like to uh, declog the head before I use it. So I just decided to leave it in there. And this is fine right here. Like I said, the glue hasn't dried out. And now I can remember which bottle of glue I'm using when I go to grab one. So that's that there. Um, the first photo frame that I want to show you is the mortarboard or the mortarboard inspiration. Pull it back a little bit. Um, as you can see, I decorated it with I Am Roses and some embellishments from Michaels. The I Am Roses. Right here is the large red one, out one of the newer roses that's out. Um, then I have two medium-sized white roses and some uh, yellow ones. They call them uh, buds. I think those are the buds. And I've decorated them all with stickles. So this is going to be my color frame. The mortarboard is just about this color that I painted the frame. So I decided that I would put red and white flowers on it and um, with some hints of yellow and I would put some bling on it. On this side here, you can I'm sure everybody recognize that token, the Tim Holtz token. And so I hot glued it there and since the token had a hole in it, I trimmed the ends off of one of my brads and I just stuck it in there and I hot glued the whole thing down. and. The um, excuse me, the the rhinestones in the corner are just some rhinestone squares that I got from Michaels that I cut in half. Um, you can see I decorated the sides with um, Viva Decor Pearl pen in the copper, and this is a uh, EK Success a three in one punch. That's the butterfly that I decorated with stickles. And as you can see, it's three layers, or maybe, you can, yeah, you can see. Um, and I stickled each layer. And over here are the Recollections flowers, the flat ones. Oh, the front, I painted with, um, I'm sorry for saying, um, the folk art paint. And I'll tell you which colors in a second. Then this is the back. I finished the back. I painted this. I know off the top of my head that was linen because that's the standard that I do. I usually do like ivory, wicker white, or linen on the back of the photo frames. And this is just a scrap of paper from the green tea stack that I cut with a view because I like to see the backs finished as well. So this is the front again. And you can see the kind of shine to it. I mod podged the uh, frame after I painted it. So I'll just show you what I used. This is the folk art paint, metallic antique copper. And this one is coffee bean. Like I said, I mixed the two. This is the um, Viva Pearl Pen in copper. 
and this is the Mod Podge that I used to get the gloss on there. This is the EK Success, the triple punch. And that's the front. You can see where the button is. And to you, the idea is to layer it. Layer each cut out. So you cut each one out. When you want to cut out a specific portion, you take the pink button and just move it. Well, it's hard to move it when it's closed, but um, you move it to what you want to cut out. And then you you layer them, and this is the linen. Okay. Um. These are the flowers. The recollections flowers that I use. And this is the rhinestones. They came from Recollections also. And this is the brads. And these are making memories. The next photo frame is the one for the baby. And I got the word babies, a, a sticker set from Target. I got the little heart in the center that's actually a mirror from my local scrapbook store. The stars you see there are recollections from Michaels. And these are EK Success flower, excuse me, heart stickers. This is a recollections butterfly. And here go my I Am Roses again. And I put skeleton leaves on this one. Some green skeleton leaves. On the sides, I decorated it. Those are perfect pearls. And the back, that's from um, one of the baby collections that I have that I bought to do this project. And just some yellow paint, just because, again, I like to finish the photo frame. Let me see, did I grab the, okay, I didn't grab the yellow paint for the back, but this is uh, Martha Stewart Pearl Paint. This is the one that I used, and the name of it is Aquarium, and it came, it came out of that set, let me, this is the set it came out of, I don't, they probably sell it individually, I'm sure, but I got it out of the set. And last thing is this is a meandering photo album. Everybody's seen this. These are Recollections flowers, a flower. Jolie's butterfly stickers. Those are the baby's initials. I decorated it on the back. And I did the inside. I matted each page. Not every page has a little pocket in it because my circle punch conked out on me for some reason. So I just um, did some solid pages in the back here, but that's fine. And so those are my projects. And um, I welcome any suggestions. I haven't given the gifts yet, but I welcome any suggestions that anybody might have. Thanks for watching, everybody.